What's up everyone? My name is Kento. Thank you so much for being here today. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to add the locked on stabilization effect to your videos using DaVinci Resolve 16. All right, for those of you who don't know what that effect looks like, let me show you. Here is a clip of me walking casually towards the camera, right? Nothing cool about it. Wait until the stabilization effect applies. Baby boo boo. Okay, you gotta agree with me. That looks amazing. Didn't think that walking could look any cooler than that, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing with a different clip. Here is a clip of me dancing on the roof at the University of the Pacific. All right, all right, all right. It's not that amazing and everything. Until we add the locked on stabilization effect, wow. Now my dancing looks 200 times better. Wow. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking this is gonna take a lot of time, it's gonna cost a lot of money, and it's gonna be really hard to do. Let me tell you this, you're absolutely correct. I'm kidding! <laughs> it doesn't cost any money. It's completely free, okay? It doesn't take that much time, it only takes 10 to 20 minutes. Also, it's not even that hard to do. Plus, in this tutorial video, I will be taking you step by step how to do it. So stay tuned so you can make your videos look awesome and you can make your friends go, whoa, how'd you do that? Now, before I walk you guys through step-by-step step of how to give your videos that extra spice to enhance your videos, I would really appreciate it if you could like my video and subscribe to my channel right now. It would really help me out a lot. Furthermore, if you experience any issues or concerns or problems in the process of making your videos with the locked on stabilization effect using DaVinci Resolve 16, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. Beep beep boop boop, all right, all right, all right. Step number one, open up your laptop or a desktop computer if that's what you have. Step number two, download DaVinci Resolve 16. I have added the link in the description below of where you can download DaVinci Resolve 16. Like I said before, DaVinci Resolve 16 is free non-free version is DaVinci Resolve 16 Studio. DaVinci Resolve 16 Studio is exactly the same as DaVinci Resolve 16, just with a little bit more features. All right, so once you have DaVinci Resolve 16 installed, go to your Finder, go to Applications, and double-click on DaVinci Resolve to open it up. Cool. So I will let you guys know that I will do my best um, to explain in full detail, you know, step-by-step, of how to do this. If for some reason you have any technical difficulties or I'm not explaining something um, accurately, please let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as, as soon as possible to fix whatever issue um, that you have. Okay, so once you open it up, it should take you to this window right here. Um, you're going to double click on Untitled Project. It'll take you to this right here, this is your main workspace, okay? Um, it's going to be the cut portal or the cut tab right here. So we're gonna go ahead and import media by selecting this um, icon in the top left-hand corner. And I have saved my clip into the downloads area in a folder that says tracker. So I'm going to select that and select walking towards camera. This is the clip I'm going to use to apply the locked on stabilization effect. Now, sometimes DaVinci Resolve 16 will ask you if you would like to change your timeline frame rate and video format to match. You do, so click on change. All right, beautiful. So now that you have your clip imported to DaVinci Resolve 16 in this master section, you're gonna go ahead and drag this to the bottom over here. And just give it a moment. Once you see that the clip appears at the bottom like so, let go of that mouse and boom you have now dragged the media down here. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Fusion Portal. So select this icon right here with the magic wand and sparkly um, designs on it. Give it a second to load, okay. And boom, beautiful. We have now arrived to the Fusion tab right here. If for any reason the arrow does not follow from the beginning of the clip indicator right here to the end, go ahead and drag it to the media out one. Awesome. Now that we've done that, this part is optional, but I highly recommend you do it. Okay, so once you have selected media in one, right click on it and select rename. 
you're going to rename it to whatever you like. Okay, this is for to be, um, you know, to be organized, just for organizational purposes. So go ahead and rename, rename it to whatever you like. I'm going to rename it walking. Hit enter and boom, we have the walking title on it. Now, once you have left clicked on this one right here, hit shift space, hold on to it simultaneously, and it should give you this select tool menu, okay? Right here, we are going to use the tracker tool, okay? So once you enter tracker, spell it out, um, T-R-A-C-K-E-R, -E it'll give you three options. Okay, so in this video, we will be using the planar tracker and the tracker feature to apply the exact same locked on stabilization effect. For this case, we're going to select the planar tracker and add it, hit add, and beautiful. We have now added the planar tracker feature to the walking media clip. Select this icon right here, the click append, and we are going to draw very carefully around the object that you would like to stabilize. In this case, I would like my head or my face to be stabilized. So I'm going to click many times around my head until I have a full circle, like so, okay? Make sure it's fully engulfed. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And once you have done that, okay, come over here to track or the operation mode and make sure it is on track. Okay, there's track, steady, corner pin, stabilize. Make sure it is on track. Now we are going to go to the pattern section and select hybrid point area for the tracker. And for the motion type, select translation. Beautiful. And then lastly, we are going to hit set for the reference time to automatically be set. And come over here to the right side where it says track to end. And once you hit track to end, you're gonna let DaVinci Resolve 16 to do its magic. I will be back with you guys once it has fully tracked to the end. Okay, welcome back. Um, my video has successfully tracked to the end um, and it took approximately two minutes. So that was only five to six seconds of a clip to take approximately two minutes to do the full uh, motion stabilization, stabilization effect. So now that we have done that, Come over here to the operation mode and change it to steady, okay? Beautiful. Now that you have changed it to steady, you will see that your clip is, you know, not exactly in the right um, size or ratio, if you want to say. There is a gray area here, and if you go back to this cut clip, that will basically indicate that your clip has a black area. Um, it's not sized correctly to show the full uh, video. So we're gonna go back to this Fusion tab over here, okay? And we are going to apply one more tool. So select the planar tracker, hold down on shift and space simultaneously. Beautiful. And this time we're going to type transform. T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. We're gonna use the transform parentheses XF right here. Add it. And this is going to be the tool to adjust the size of the clip. So select the size one right here, and you can just drag this to make it bigger, okay? Okay, so you basically want to play around with this one right here um, to size it correctly, and you can even center it, adjust what is being centered, what is not being centered. You can even go up and down with this tool over here, um, play around with it a little bit. I want my face to be in the middle, so I'm going to center it back to where it was, like so. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so when you are looking at your final product, you wanna make sure that there are no gray areas or black areas surrounding your video. Awesome. Okay, cool. Stay tuned if you want to see another way that you can apply the locked on stabilization effect to your videos. So cool. We're gonna go to the import media tab again over here, and we are going to select a different clip to demonstrate how to apply this effect another way. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and it should be right here, imported to the master. And since we're not going to be using this clip right here, we're gonna go ahead and click on it, delete it, boom, beautiful. Now we're gonna drag the new clip that we're gonna use to demonstrate another way that we could apply the locked on stabilization effect, beautiful. Now we are going to go to the same place, Fusion, okay? So far, everything is the same as the previous. What's going to be different is right here. 
So, hit shift space again simultaneously, and it should bring you here to the select tool media, select tool menu, and when you hit tracker, this time, instead of using the planar tracker, we're gonna use the tracker one, okay? This one right here. So click on that, add it, and it should show you something a little bit different compared to before. Now, if you look closely over here, it'll show this little green thing with like, you know, green double, green rectangles, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna select the top left-hand corner of the little square. It's hard to tell, but it's right here, okay? This is going to help you drag um, to the object that you want to track. So if you wanna track, say I want to track my head. I place it on my head, okay? And since this is too small and very hard to see, I'm going to zoom in with this scaling tool right here. Select 200%, scroll it a little bit up so I get a better look of it, and beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to use the bottom right-hand corner or the top right-hand corner to resize the middle square to the size of my head, okay? Select the top left-hand corner to adjust it like so. You can even look down here to see if you are getting the object that you want to track, see if you're getting it accurately. Okay, and now you're gonna select any corner of the rectangle on the outer end and just create another rectangle around the first one, maybe approximately like so. You can play around with it. Sometimes I've experienced making it larger like so or a lot smaller like this. Okay, so once you have done this, come over here and hit track forward. That is all you need to do now. Hit track forward and it should track the object that you wanted to highlight and stabilize in the video. I will be back with you guys once it has fully loaded. Beautiful, okay, welcome back. We, um, we can see here in the window here that the render is completed. Hit okay. Now, we are going to go here over here to the, <laughs> here over here, to the operation menu and select match move, okay? Now that you have selected match move, for the merge option, we're gonna select background only. Beautiful. Now that you have done that, we're going to come here to the tracker and hit shift space to bring that transform tool out again. So select transform, hit add, beautiful. As you can see up here, we have that gray or black area again where the clip is not sized correctly. So you're just going to zoom in again until that gray area or black area is gone and reposition it to however way you would like it to be. Beautiful. All right, so here is my final result. I hope your guys' videos also turned out well, just like mine. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button, like my video, and leave a comment below if you found this video helpful. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Uh, see you next time, thank you. And it's